In this lesson, let's try to go and see how we can run a best uh, run or check a best practice in our table, and we'll also go and fix all of this issue or a best practice issue that we currently have in our project. So first, we'll take one table. Uh, let's say we will take a student table, and just right click on it, and let's say add ins, and we'll go to uh, check best practice. So just click on this one. So when we run this one, we have a lot of uh, uh, best practice issue. We have 17 total. You can see total 17. And the first thing that we have is uh, let's fix this one, the label first. So we don't have label. So let's go to our table. Just uh, close this one, and we go to our table over here and the label. You can see we don't have any table. And for this one, we have to use a, a label property or else it will again give us an error of that the, we have hard coded over here. So let's click on this one and we'll open a label editor and we'll try to add. So go to setup first and this is the label file RDL that we have previously created. So I will add on the same one and let's add a new one. And I will call this as a, a label as what was our label? So it was student table. So I will call as a student table. Okay, that should be fine. In description, I will give the same. Okay. So let me try to okay, add new one. And I let me get the label ID first. So I'll get the label ID of okay. Let me delete this one first and let me use this one. I'll just copy this one and we'll go over here. Sorry, I need to we need to close this one first and I'll go over here and just paste the label and that should be fine and. Okay, we get the label and just save this one. Save and okay, just reset this one and just uh, okay and just restore it. And let's try to run a check again. So let's go to check best practice. And the next thing that we get over here uh, is a primary key field student ID must be mandatory and okay let's fix for the other title so let's fix this one so title f1 must be declared so we need to declare f1 a field one and field two so how to set that one i will show you now let's go to this table and we have a table title field one and title field this so we need to fill this one so title let's get uh, name Okay, or let's see student ID and we'll give title to as a name. So it's not okay. Save. Let me reset everything. Why is not showing? Okay. Yeah, we have already. So we have student ID and student name. And if you try to run it again, that should be gone. So check best practice. So now you can see it's reduced to 14. So we still have to fix a lot more. And the other thing that we can fix is for student. Let's go and see what other things that we still can fix. Mm. Okay, mandatory property. So let's fix the help help text property first. So help text and the label for all of our uh, field over here so we we'll go to our table and let's go inside and we have one two three four let's fix all of the label and the help text so let's go to label and we have to create a label first and let's go over here and just create a new one and we'll call this one as a student name 
and just copy this one and just paste it over here and we just say select new one 51 and this 52 i will say student phone description i will just copy the same over here and let me create a new one okay the new one should be for our that, what is that one now are the address and student id address and student id so i will create for is the duty and student address and i will just copy same thing over here and the last one i have to create is a student id so it's stu the end student id and i will just say that one is a student id so we have rd 51 to 54 so just use that one let's copy this one and just close this one so name should be rd 51 and help text will give us same 51 and phone will just give same a 52 and we just copy this one and just paste it over here and this should be 53 rd 53 and let's give this one rd53 and last one we have each other rd54 so let's fix all of this and let's try to run it one more time so let's save this one and let's try to restore it and let's try to rerun again so let's go to here and this check the best practice one more time so now here we have a 10 uh, if it's reduced to 4 and we have a 10 best practice issue so let's fix other the primary key field student id must be mandatory so we need to make it ma mandatory and the second the primary field student id cannot be edited or updated so let's go to our project over here and let me go to table uh, let me minimize everything okay so i have this one and this we need to go to student id student id must be mandatory so how to make it mandatory so here is a mandatory property so we have to make it yes so let's make it mandatory and the another one is the primary key field student id cannot be edited or updated so allow edit must be set to no so allow edit allow edit is over here sorry that should be set to no okay so we have changed that one and let's save this and let us uh, restore and reset everything from here and let's try to uh, run again the best practice okay okay so now we can see we have a best practice issue so we need to fix again all of this let's try to fix uh, another one is a document a developer documentation not uh, not specified so let's go to the table and let's close this one first okay let's click on the button over here and let's try to add a new label and we'll just call as a okay let's call as a student table devlo developer doc okay we just say this one okay and we just close this one and it should be 56 so this is at rdl 50 so i will just copy this one and paste it over here and say 56 a student table developer doc so that should be fine and just save this one and we'll just rerun Okay, just just take best practice we have seven okay and let's see our field group we have auto report so let's fix this one auto report field group so go to field group over here and we have auto report and let's try to add a few field over here and i will just say student id okay and add one more field i will just say another one is name 
and let's see another one add new field as a phone so we have three fields okay let's save this one and let's try to restore and rerun okay this best practice okay we have left five so other thing that we can fix is that the field is not a member of field group consider setting the visible property to no or build a user interface using a field group so field group so we need to fix this one okay let's fix the relation property first so for that we need to go to our relationship over here and let's go into our studency and relation what it says is a relation type related uh, related table cardinality and we have okay so here i think it's okay here relation type we need to say associate some okay and uh, cardinality let's say to zero or more so and here related table cardinality is to zero or more so let's say save this one and just reset it and one more time let's run check best practice okay so we have just left the four more okay so let's fix this one non uh, non surrogate key primary key index is not valid for company specific table so what we have to do is let's go to table and what we have over here is uh, primary index is student id so let's change to surrogate key okay and just save this one and let's rerun our check okay we have left three okay let's try to fix uh, this three error so field field is not a member of field group which means the field uh, name phone and address address is not a member of field group so what we have to do is let's go down over here and go to field group over here and we'll create a new we'll create a new field group over here and let's say we we'll call this field group as let us give a group name over here and we will say or we say all just say all and the label we have to provide a label and we just create a new label over here and we will say this as a just call this as a all field yes right so we just call it as a all fields okay and just it's the same one as a description and what we'll do is okay that's it and we just try to create new one and get the level id 57 okay we just copy this one okay and okay that should be we just paste it over here and that's it okay we will add a field over here uh, which is a name phone and address right so name and phone and also rd address so just put it over here and just save this one and what we'll do is we will just uh, restore everything and reset and we'll run more one more time okay I add pins and we we'll go and check best practice yeah that is fine and we don't have any best practice now we have zero best practice so which means we have fixed all of our best practice and that's how we deal with the best practice we just uh, right click and just on um, add in and we just run a check best practice and we will try we go and try to fix all of the best practice that is left for us so hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you have any question do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day